this is a big box. But it's not a very big game. Let's talk about Foundations of Rome. Let's get inside the box, see how it plays, and what are my thoughts? Let's get this out of the way. Like I said, it's a big box. However, inside, it's all very well laid out. It has custom insert trays for each one of these pieces. Each player gets their own tray of 3D pieces and lot markers. And there's also a monuments expansion that has all the monuments here and the player boards and extra pieces, even the expansion, fit all in the side panel. In this game, you can take deed cards, build, or take income. When you take a deed card, pay the price that's depicted on the board. Slide the deeds down and then place your marker on that lot. When you build a building, go ahead and take your lot markers off and place a building that fits within those lot markers. And when you go to take income, you get five bucks plus whatever income generating bid businesses that you've put onto the board. The goal is to have the most points at the end of the game. You do this primarily through population. This is a really cool mechanic here where the player in first place is going to get a bonus plus the population that they currently have. And the players that are behind them get the population score as points of the person in front of them. What I thought was really cool is it's kind of a catch up. However, there are variable ways to win. You can completely ignore population and go straight on to commerce or straight on to civic buildings and away you go. At the end of each round era, you're going to score. There's three eras and each time you're going to count up your population. You're going to get income. And in the last round, your income buildings become point buildings. And then you're going to look at your civic buildings, the light gray ones. Each one of these is going to score buildings for what they touch. What's cool here is that you don't just score the buildings that are yours that is touching. You get to score any building. So this comes in really handily if you're scoring one point per population and you're touching both your population building and your neighbor's population building on the same square. That's the real key here to getting a lot of points. It's maximizing those scores there. There's also the new Roads of Fortune expansion, which allows you to get bonuses for placing lots along the edge, which is really cool. And that's the game. It's really simple. Despite being a huge box, it plays very smoothly and very quickly. And you get this beautiful table presence at the end of it. Cleans up nice and quick as well because everything just has its place and goes back in there and slides right back into the box. Now, this is a Kickstarter game. You might be able to get it on the aftermarket. You might be able to find copies online. If you can't, and you don't really have an entire spare Kallax cube available, Arcane Wonders has actually come up with Foundations of Metropolis, which is the same idea, however it's done with cardboard and it's in your standard size game box. So I definitely give both of these a check out and make sure you follow along because I'll be posting some more SM videos and some more review videos. So hit that like button, subscribe, notifications, follow, tweet, retweet, like, heart, all those things. I don't know what they all are anymore. <laughs> See you next time.